Good morning and welcome to another vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim and I'm gonna just take you along for this like pre-Christmas, let's get our act together day. So be sure to hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell if you are new here. I'd love to have you join me along for the journey as I try to live my best healthy life while following the Weight Watchers plan. Well, I have like had a pretty decent start to my morning, I have to say. Two cups of coffee, that's it. I feel like that's pretty good. Leaving me room to pick up coffee later in the day. I had breakfast, it's a high point breakfast, totally not worth it. But the only reason I'm eating this, which I'm about to tell you, is because I bought them and I feel like obligated to like use it. So I had one of the Jimmy Dean plant-based egg white frittata sandwiches. These are eight points on the plan. So it's English muffin, regular cheese, egg whites with like a spinach, and then a plant-based sausage. They're about 280 calories. And the only reason I bought these is because they were on manager special at Kroger. And I am such a sucker. Like if you are a sucker for them, let me know in the comments down below. But it's like, oh, it's such a great deal. I should buy these and maybe they will be good. So not only did I buy one box, I bought two. I'm very tempted to see if a friend of mine who is vegetarian and her kids are vegetarian will want them. Um, she's got a teenage boy and I feel like teenage boys just eat anything. But these are eight points. So I've had that and big news, big news. I went for my first post-surgery run. It was about like a 15 minute run. I didn't wear a watch. I didn't get dressed up. In fact, I wore the sweatpants that I went to bed in. Like I just wanted to keep it super low key. But Yeti was getting like super antsy. She's just been really wired lately. Even with like exercise, whether it's a walk or a bike ride. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give her, like go for a short run and see how it feels. And like most everything felt good. I didn't feel any pain in my incision site. Like these felt good. Like I didn't feel annoyed by them. The only problem was is I'm out of shape. Like my heart rate just felt really high. It felt hard to breathe. It is cold. It's the wind chill is like in the twenties this morning. But the plan it for today is after I finish work, today is a half day. I need to go to Ulta and pick up an order. I need to go to Hallmark and pick up another order. I think I need to check, make sure I have stocking stuffers, especially for Mark. And just like make sure like I've checked all my boxes off for Christmas shopping because this is weekend is like the last weekend for Christmas shopping. And then I do have a grocery order to pick up. And hopefully, oh, and I also need to go to Victoria's Secret to exchange something. I bought like real undergarments. And one of the employees, she measured me, recommended sizing up a band size in this one particular style because it doesn't have as much stretch, but I did feel like the band was just too big. So I'm gonna do that. But yeah, I really might need more coffee for the rest of the day. But join me. I'll show you what I get at the grocery, what I'm eating today. Maybe find some fun stocking stuffer ideas. I am pretty sure this guy is going to be of no help. He is digging the self-care in this busy holiday season. I'm not quite sure what kind of bubble bath this is, but looks legit. Look at me. I curled my hair. So I'm going to grab a quick snack, refill my water. Um, I'm just using this mason jar. I had about 16 ounces of water so far today. Um, my snack is an apple, if I didn't say that already. I'm um, just keeping it super low point um, since that breakfast sandwich just kind of like killed me. And I think like, hello light mayonnaise, I love you. I seriously love mayonnaise and ranch dressing on like almost anything. Um, I think we might get Chinese food tonight. We were talking about it. I wanted Mark to get Chinese food last night, but he's like, we should cook it. And I was like, okay, that means I'm cooking. But yeah, here's my apple. I'm gonna wash it, grab some water, continue working. I have a goal to finish this like one project today and then I can like head out. <laughs> Thank you. 
I am so, so excited. I got my project done and I feel like I can eat a little lunch and head out and get like my Christmas to-do list done, checked off. I just put some of those Tyson grilled chicken tenders in the air fryer. I found like heating them at the microwave just doesn't, that, what is this? What is this? We're just, okay. Um, but I'm gonna make myself a little salad. I have some of the salad starter from Kroger, some cherry tomatoes, the fat-free feta from Trader Joe's, leftover asparagus, and then light ranch. So the only points in this lunch are the light ranch. So two points. Oh, I'm gonna have so much room for Chinese food. Um, my go-to order, you're gonna have to tell me in the comments down below. I'm just trying to get you to comment what your go-to Chinese order is. I must have egg drop soup, which I love because it's low point. Fills, like it's a good starter before you like really dive in. And then I typically get like chicken and broccoli um, or chicken with like mixed vegetables. But I like love sesame chicken, cashew chicken, all this stuff that's like 900 points. Um, but I'll probably go with something with a lot of veg. And then white rice, I don't, I guess I like fried rice, but I like more hibachi style rice. Okay, we need to clean up those under eyes. I'm looking scary. I'd rather have a big cheese for fun now. But I figure if I have to spend eight points on that stinking breakfast sandwich, I'm gonna make myself the biggest like two point salad on the planet. Um, I might eat it all, I might not. You know, like whatever. But I, why do we never have forks? I swear on all that is holy. Seriously, look at that, no forks, no forks. This is why having kids is such a bummer sometimes. I might have to go to Marshall's and buy myself some freaking forks. I looked at Home Goods and I didn't like the style of like their silverware, but something has got to be done. <laughs> I decided to make a quick stop at Big Lots. Like that is one store I don't always go to and I haven't been to this holiday season. And I just was thinking they might have some stocking tupper, stocking stuffer type things, which I know Mark watches the channel, so I can't say anything. And I'm a little afraid that my kids like have the possibility like to be smart enough to look on YouTube to see if I am buying things for them during Vlogmas, so I can't really share, but I like magically spent $47 and I really thought I would spend 15. So I was also hoping to find like a white elephant gift. Miles has two white elephant drawing things and we got the one in our grocery pickup, but he needs another one for his youth group. I didn't see anything there I loved. So I might hit five below, but next up is definitely the Hallmark the Ulta and I do have to pick up one more gift for one of the kids like I realized when I was kind of going through there's one area where they're not like even and not everything is even and especially the older one understands how some things work but the other one doesn't and that's the one and 
You, you know what I mean? So I might have to go into Kohl's, which is like the most terrifying thing to do so close to Christmas. Am I right? The Ulta order is secure. It is like such a baby order. I don't even know why. Oh my gosh. So I parked the car and gas was 303. I'm walking back out to my car. It is 299. Now like I'm wondering, gas prices are always cheaper in Ohio. Um, Indiana has a pretty high gas tax. So I'm like, that might sound high to you. Maybe it's low if you live in California. I don't know. But Merry Christmas to Indiana. I am like striking out. Oh, my eyes still look a mess. But couldn't find what I wanted at Kohl's. I did get my Hallmark order and I stopped at Dick's, no luck. And I had to resist buying a bunch of stuff for me. So we are gonna like maybe do a quick trip to- I just got home and I am feeling so, so successful. I think I got almost everything I need and I'm like officially done Christmas shopping unless I buy like a couple little things. Um, I am waiting on one thing from Amazon. Amazon, like I had ordered it a couple weeks ago and it just never arrived. So they refunded it. One part I was able to make do, but I did reorder the other part. So hopefully that'll get here Sunday. But I'm gonna do a little wrapping, uh, especially the, since the boys are still at school. Yeti is outside, it's snowing, and she's just like, oh, it's snowing. Is it snowing, baby girl? Do you like the snow? time for a little afternoon snack so I grabbed some microwave popcorn three points on the plan worth every point so I just got home from the grocery and I realized like I started putting stuff away I have shredded cheese that's reduced fat I also got some center cut bacon but I think that's all oh and butter because it's the Christmas season but now more like traditional grocery haul we have some diced chilies. I'm not gonna tell you what these are for, like what the ingredients are for, because then that ruins like future vlogmas content. Uh, beef bouillon, oh, thank you, boo. Um, but I promise I have some good recipes coming up. Black beans. These are, we call pans. These are like size favorite for lunch. And since uh, Christmas break is coming up, we're starting to stock up. Some Lighthouse Thousand Island dressing. That is not WW friendly, but it is for a recipe. Cauliflower, I will tell you that I am making that cauliflower potato soup again because I loved it so much. And why are you really having for dinner? I don't know. Shredded lettuce. He's eating shredded lettuce. We have Cheerios and rice checks because I'm gonna make this like Christmas crack check mix. And I put away the other parts of it, white chocolate chips and M&Ms. And I have some leftover mini pretzels. This stuff is like bonkers. Uh, hopefully I give some of it away. And then we have some Cheetos. Mac and Cheese! He, this was personal request of Silas. By the way, Miles, uh, they didn't have your Cheez-Its. Mm. How do they not have Cheez-Its? I yeah. don't know. That's the most common thing you can find. <laughs> Mark is attacking me. I know you don't like them. Um, But I have a question for you, Mark. Do you like the sweatpants? Sure. I actually got tons of compliments on this outfit while I was out and about, and I'm like, I look like I'm in pajamas. But I have an important question. Am I somebody who flies by the seat of my pants? What kind of person am I? Planner. Planner. But today I am flying by the seat of my pants. I told you like, we're gonna hang out at home tonight, get some Chinese food. And then I got a text message. And that text message said so, that there had been additional tickets released for a concert that I had wanted to go to. So there's this band for King and Country and they're doing a Christmas concert here. And I had really wanted tickets. I was hoping Mark would get them for my anniversary. And then when I looked, 
the tickets were all over a hundred dollars. And I was like, no. Well, I checked this text link and the tickets that were released were $20. And so I was like, maybe we can find a babysitter. Maybe we can find a babysitter. And then I decided, let's just give the kids a new experience. And so what are we doing? We're all gonna go. We're all gonna go. It's gonna be super fun. I know Miles will be fine. So I could be a little iffy, but he's not been falling asleep right away. So I don't know what we're doing for dinner yet. Miles has already asked. You might have heard. I told him we had to ask his dad. Um, so we'll see. Back to the grocery haul. Ginger, tomatoes, shallots. I don't know why I got shallots. I really don't. And bananas. So anything else? We got some milk on the floor, but I think that is the entire grocery haul. <laughs> such a fabulous evening before the concert we went to one of our favorite mexican restaurants for dinner and we were really lucky because we got right in we were served really quickly and i went with one of my favorite dish dishes pollo a la a la a la la papa which is basically chicken it has some vegetables like fajita veg cheese on it rice guacamole sour cream lettuce and the rice, did, I mostly just ate the chicken. I tried to eat some chips, but Miles completely devoured them. And then we headed to the concert, which was completely amazing, completely amazing. It felt like it was on the edge of being too much for the kids. Just, it was, you know, it's late for all of us. Um, but I'm so glad we decided to go. And that's gonna wrap up this vlog because I'm tired. Stay tuned for more of Vlogmas Fun when I am more well rested. Bye.